Second Chronicles Chapter 23 And in the seventh year Jehoiada waxed bold, and took the captains of hundreds, to wit, Azariah the son of Jeroham, and Ishmael the son of Jehohanan, and Azariah the son of Obed, and Maaseah the son of Adaiah, and Elishaphat the son of Zichri, in covenant with him. And they went about in Judah, and gathered the Levites out of all the cities of Judah, and the chief fathers of Israel. And they came to Jerusalem. And all the congregation made a covenant with the king in the house of God. And he said unto them, Behold, the king's son must reign, as the Lord hath said of the sons of David. This is it that ye shall do, the third part of you that come on the Sabbath of the priests, and the Levites, shall be porters of the doors, and another third part toward the king's house, and another third part at the gate of the foundation, and all the people shall be in the courts of the house of the Lord. But let none come into the house of the Lord, save the priests and the Levites that minister. They shall go in, for they are holy. But all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord, and the Levites shall compass the king round about, and every man with his weapon in his hand, and he that entereth into the house shall be slain, and be you with the king, when he cometh in, and when he goeth out. So the Levites and all Judah did according to all things that Jehoiada the priest had commanded, and took every man his men that came on the Sabbath with them that went out on the Sabbath, for Jehoiada the priest did not discharge the courses. And Jehoiada the priest delivered to the captains of hundreds spears, and shields, and bucklers, which had been King David's, and were in the house of God. And he caused all the people to stand, every man with his weapon in his hand, from the right side of the house to the left side of the house by the altar, and by the house round about the king. Then they brought out the king's son, and put upon him the crown, and gave him the testimony, and made him king. And Jehoiada and his sons anointed him, and said, God save the king. But when Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she came to the people into the house of the Lord. And when she looked, behold, the king stood by his pillar at the entering in, and the princes and the trumpets by the king. And all the people of the land rejoiced, and blew the trumpets, and the singers were with instruments of music, and they that could sing praise. Then Athaliah rent her clothes, and said, Treason, treason. Then Jehoiada the priest brought out the captains of hundreds that were governors of the host, and said unto them, Have her forth of the ranges, and he that followeth her, let him die by the sword. For the priest had said, Slay her not in the house of the Lord. So they laid hands on her, and when she was come to the entering of the horse gate by the king's house, they slew her there. And Jehoiada made a covenant between him and all the people and the king, that they would be the Lord's people. And all the people went to the house of Baal, and destroyed, and brake his altars and his images, and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. And Jehoiada appointed officers for the house of the Lord, under the hands of the priests and Levites, whom David had distributed for the house of the Lord, to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord, as it is written in the law of Moses, with rejoicing and singing by the appointment of David. And he set porters by the gates of the house of the Lord, that none that was unclean in anything should enter in. And he took the captains of hundreds, and the noblemen, and the governors of the people, and all the people of the land. And he caused the king to come down out of the house of the Lord. And they went through the high gate of the king's house, and set the king upon the throne of the kingdom. Then all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet, after that they had slain Athaliah with the sword.